and once again I'm back with the tutorial of Kotlin and uh, in this tutorial I'll be talking about classes uh, so um, so as you know that classes you can create your own type of objects um, classes are objects as you know so you can create your own type before we discuss about int ranges and strings which are kind of a um, built-in type objects right which is uh, already provided by you by Kotlin but now I will teach you how to create your own type of objects okay on types uh, pretty much you can say so uh, so uh, creating new types it's much more uh, activity in the object oriented program so this is kind of an object oriented programming concept so creating your own types right own types with different properties different uh, uh, functions methods you know uh, and that's it so we will be talking about that in this tutorial and um, some interesting thing that you have to understand is uh, yeah you can also go through the tutorial if you really want to, uh, I mean like you can go through the the, the description here about uh, creating a class but uh, rather than talking I would like to give you the brief example so for creating a class you just start with the keyword and the name of the class or the type right uh, type of the object you want to create and uh, uh, so yeah and also the interesting thing that you have to understand that each type in like the object you create every new uh, object you create these new objects are unique actually you can also pretty much if you print out this one uh, like I have created G1 and G2 the same object right but their identifier are pretty much unique as you can see here like you know so they have a unique id you know so they are pretty much unique so this is the important concept that you have to understand and uh, so in the second example as you can see here you can pretty much uh, creating a class and instant instantiate in this way uh, okay similarly to this way yeah yeah you can also even uh, instantiate the class and also even uh, like call its its methods you know like a class with its method you are calling it right here and uh, yeah finally this exercise you can also you see that it's a pretty simple exercise uh, which is pretty much calling the the method of the class right so now without wasting any time let's go and uh, write the code and try to understand much deeply about how to create a class so here in the exercise one it says that create a class name some class so let's do that uh, class called some class uh, so three member functions a uh, so function number a what does it do which displays 42 print uh, it's displays number 42 okay as you can see here guys I'm like pretty much um, following the the description or saying on the console when it, uh, uh, on the console when it calls it so B which calls a so function B actually which calls a and finally function C which actually calls uh, B by qualifying it so this is the simple class that you have I have created guys so it's a, it's a class named some class which has this three methods a B and C a when it is called will print out 42 B when it's called out will call a C when it's called will call B uh so guys if i call a main functions and uh, call a like first i have to instantiate the class right so well um uh, my class is a some class I create an instance of this uh, class and i pretty much call the method a Okay, let's call C. 
to C because actually C is calling B, B is calling A, and A is calling actually, and and it's printing out forty two. So it's this should print out forty two. So I'm running. Yeah, finally it prints out forty two. So that's it, guys. So we are done with this exercise. Let's go to the another exercise. What it says that create a class giraffe with a sing, uh, single member function display id that displays the address of the object uh, called string soft, uh, soft string after to extract the address of the default object representation draw the following code and compare the address so so uh, here what i will do i will try to create a different instance of the same object so first i will create a class called giraffe okay which has a, a method uh, which uh, is called a display ID which pretty much what it does is display the ID of the class okay so the display of the ID of the class so we will do that okay let's uncomment the code and what as you can see here is like I'm creating the instance of the same class but I want to display the ID and check out the difference right so how can we do that uh oh, sorry guys uh okay so this uh, um, uh, string so i will print out uh, whatever this uh, giraffe object is to the string then i have to use a sub string after sub string after and the delimiter will be like uh, this at so to extract the address of the default object so as you can see here call string substring after to extract the address of the default object so what i'm using i'm substring after and delimiter is at so now here what it does is uh, uh, i have to display it right so but i still have to print it print ln so i have to print this whatever it is so let's check out guys because what is doing is taking this object so now we will see the difference you see each display id for the class uh, the instance of a class created is different right for giraffe one is this is the display id for giraffe two this is the display, uh, display id which is different and for giraffe three this is a display id which is totally different so this pretty much verifies that uh, each instance of the object are unique okay so now let's go to the next exercise what it says is i'll create a robot class with the following four member functions right left down and up while passing the steps right so each function should display one of the following phrases on the console right and steps so how can we create the robot class so class uh, robot uh, and what it has it has uh, different functions called uh, right uh, with uh, steps uh, okay this is the first function uh, okay what this function is gonna do is function to display one of the following phrases on the console so uh, it has to display right so print uh, what it has to display is uh, is a uh, right uh, steps uh, steps right so guys uh, let's do that also the next one is left uh, steps uh, print left um, steps steps the next one is uh, down steps Green. steps left uh, down uh, steps steps this steps is actually the value what you are passing as a parameter here right the argument sorry uh, so down and finally is the up uh, steps uh, printing and 
अब स्टेप्स स्टेप्स राइट गाइस सो नाउ आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ रोबोट क्लास विथ ऑल दिस मेथड्स एंड व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू प्रिंट मच ऑन कमेंट दिस कोड एंड इट विल क्रिएट अ रोबोट इट विल क्रिएट अ इंस्टेंस of the robot class and then it will call this method up uh, and what is the expected output is up uh, 11 steps so let's check out yeah up 11 steps that's it guys so this is also done so now let's go to the another exercise So what it says, we already use uh, quick document section to check the variable type. Quick document also produce the information about symbols, including uh, a function of the class. Press F1 when credit is on the class of the function uses. So the uh, document of the function. Put the variable the string type and its uppercase. Uh, yeah. So it's giving it pretty much like a quick document. If I just put the, my caret over, like if I hover over. And put the carrot up, up you know, over this uh, uppercase uh, method. Uh, I get this kind of a um, pretty much like a quick documentation, guys. So this is it will be really helpful for right because you will go know more about um, more interesting information about this um, this method, right? Upper class it returns a copy of a what well, the, the the document the quick documentation, and it says it returns a copy of a string converted to uppercase using Unicode mapping rules of the environment local right so that's it guys and let's go to the final exercise and what it says is like mastering the id equation the quick token shortcut f1 can be used not only in the editor but also in the code compilation pop-up list use this code completion pop-up list as you can see here there's a code completion pop-up list if i do like this right and uh, uh, okay, using this further, find the functions for the string that uppercases only its first letters. So I have to uppercase only the first letter. So how can we do that? So I will check out which of them is possible. Like I see that replace first character. So I replace the first character and I change it to uppercase, guys. So this will pretty much uh, replace the first character. Uh, to the um, uppercase as you can see here you have a, a quick documentation about the replace first character when you hover here uh, returns a copy of a strings having its first character replaced with the result of a specifier i transform or the original string if it's empty okay so let's run this yeah you see it's pretty much converting the first character to the uppercase the output as you can see here so that's it guys and pretty much we are done with this um, this concept of creating objects so I hope you liked it and if you uh, like uh, my tutorials please consider subscribing it and let's um, uh, okay catch you up in the my next tutorial thank you